First impressions are important, and it just so happens that a logo is your brand's visual introduction to your clients. Good news is in today's day and age, you can create your very own professional-looking logo all by yourself using a website with preset logo design choices. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Here in Life Marketing, we're committed to helping small businesses grow. And in today's video, I'm going to show you a quick guide on how to create your business or personal brand logo using Canva. In this guide, I'm going to walk you through just how easy you can create your very own business logo using Canva. For this guide, I'll a mock cafe business called Coffee Cat. Feel free to follow along with your own brand details. Let's get started. We're using Canva for this whole process, so let's go ahead and open their website. You can also download the Canva app with your PC, Mac, or tablet. Click on the Create a Design button on the top right corner and type in Logo. Canva will then recommend a logo size, so go ahead and click on that. Now before we jump into designing the actual logo, let's do a bit of prep work that's going to help you keep your branding consistent in the future. On the first page, we'll be creating a guide board. This will serve as your branding guide. Do not skip this step. It'll keep your visual branding consistent because you'll be using this information for any future graphics you'll have for your business. Think of this as future-proofing your logo design. In your branding guide page, you'll be placing three things. Number one, business name and headline. For now, we'll leave this with the default font, but we'll be coming back to this later with the fully designed logo. Number two, color scheme. It's important to have at most two to three colors in a logo. Any more than that, and you'll have a hard time placing it over different surfaces and designs. Since this is a cafe, we want to stick to colors that remind us of what we sell. In this case, we sell coffee, so we want to use a color that conveys energy and warmth. So I'll be using orange and black. Having a basic understanding of color psychology helps in selecting colors, so be sure to do your research beforehand. We've done a guide on marketing psychology in the past, so if you haven't already, be sure to check that out. Number 3. Font Names If you don't have a specific font in mind yet, that's perfectly fine. Canva has a huge library of fonts to use, so we'll leave this blank for now and come back later when we've decided on what works best for our design. Now we're ready to start designing. Click on the plus sign on the top right of your current canvas and it'll create a second page for you. And since we selected the logo format earlier during setup, you will see in the templates tab, Canva is recommending a wide variety of preset logo designs you can start with. You can start with any one of these and edit them according to how you want your logo to look like. Now it's important to keep in mind, never ever use a logo preset without editing it. If you use a preset and leave it mostly as is, you and your clients are more likely to find similar looking logos elsewhere and you lose the unique visual edge you want your brand to have. For this guide, let's start with this design here. Make a mental note of what elements or symbols are most associated with your business and try adding those elements to your design to see what works. If you've used Canva before, you'll know that it's very easy to navigate through the different features and functions that the site offers. Now, even if you haven't used it much, don't be afraid to play around with whatever function the site offers to see what works for your business logo. The undo button is always going to be there if something doesn't suit your taste. When creating a business logo, three things matter the most. Number one, it has to be eye-catching. We've said it before here on Life Marketing and we'll say it again. Humans are visual creatures. We're drawn to what's visually grabbing our attention. The human eye loves balance and symmetry. Keep that in mind and do not crowd the logo with too many elements. And don't use fonts and colors that clash. Number two, it has to be obvious. Can you easily tell exactly what your business is about just by looking at your logo? Be sure that your logo doesn't have potential clients confused about what exactly they're looking at. Number three, a logo has to represent your business well. Would you say that your logo leaves a positive impression that'll draw potential customers in? Your logo is an extension of the personality you want your business to exude. Keep your design authentic by finding a balance between what your clients would be attracted to and what you're happy to use. Once you're happy with how it looks, update the branding guide on your first page. Place the design here, the used colors here, as well as their hexadecimal code here. And add the font names here, and we're done! You now have a personalized logo for your business. It is important to note that Canva has a set of library elements and what's available for you to use is also available for others. Deviating from the presets will significantly lower the chance of your logo having a duplicate, but the chance is still there. If you're ready to have your logo set completely apart from your competition, visit our website at www.lifemarketing.com and see how our in-house team of graphic specialists can create a custom logo 100% illustrated and unique to your brand. That's it for today's video. If you learned anything, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Life Marketing for more digital marketing guides. Once again, this is Jelly from Life Marketing and I'll catch you on the next one.